the objective of ClinNet is to set up and maintain a strong clinical hospital network to support new options to treat or prevent bacterial infections in Europe. This network enables us to transparently select the most suitable sites for clinical trials, both commercial studies and investigator different studies, and it supports the execution of clinical trials. Preferably, all researchers within ClinNet are GCP certified. In order to get all ClinNet investigators trained, we offer GCP trainings. Since the start of the COMBAC project in January of 2013, the number of hospital sites and investigator members has increased rapidly and has continued to grow in recent years. On the 31st of May 2021, the network encompassed 1,068 hospitals, 3,612 investigator contacts, and 27 national coordinators across 42 countries. Several European countries have a large number of hospitals actively involved in combat and non-combat studies that are supported by ClinNet. Although our network is widespread across Europe, the degree of involvement of individual sites can vary. We've identified three groups of hospitals within the combat network. Participating sites, sites that are participating in or are selected for one or more studies ClinNet has supported. Member sites, sites that have participated in a feasibility or provided data, but that have not yet been selected for any study supported by ClinNet. And lastly, prospective sites, sites that have expressed interest in being part of the combat hospital network, but that did not participate in the feasibility process as of yet. ClinNet tries to collaborate as much as possible with already existing networks. Besides focusing on the growth of the network, ClinNet has continued building and professionalizing a network of national and regional coordinators, ensuring shorter and more direct lines of communication between ClinNet and the individual hospital sites and investigators. The national coordinator's expertise, knowledge of and experience with the sites is of great value for the optimization of the ClinNet network. So far, ClinNet has supported site selection for 17 combat trials and 12 non-combat trials. The site selection is performed through a standardized and transparent process and encompasses different steps starting with developing a site selection plan, describing actions and responsibilities, and ending with sending out decision letters on participation in the study. As the network expands and clinical trials continue enrolling patients, more study data is becoming available, which allows for better assessment of site performance. We have defined a set of performance indicators to objectively measure the performance of participating sites in the combat network. ClinNet has started to collect information on six quantitative performance indicators, inclusion rates, subject completion rates, turnaround times for ethical approval, and contracting and specific ECRF indicators. Because not all valuable performance information is captured by the quantitative performance indicators, ClinNet also created a format to gather qualitative information through interviews with study teams. The following five categories were discussed during the interviews. Infrastructure, such as the size of the research team, communication with the PI and other research staff involved, challenges that they have faced or identified during the trial, successes such as achievements during the study period and whether the site or PI were recommended for future studies by the study team and for what reason. Fifteen studies supported by COMBACT are completed and presented in this overview. Out of 40 studies supported by COMBACT, 25 are still ongoing. Besides combat studies, these also include specific COVID-19 studies and studies within other consortia. Altogether, over 42,000 subjects have been included.
Clinet has provided GCP training to their network, ensuring a growing number of investigators possess adequate GCP capabilities for participating in the clinical studies run through the network. Combat Clinet offers online and face-to-face -face good clinical practice, GCP training, to principal investigators, sub-investigators, research nurses, and other research staff. Clinet developed the face-to-face -face training in collaboration with the European Forum for Good Clinical Practice, EFGCP. In 2019, COMEC launched a new online good clinical practice training provided by the European Center for Clinical Research Training, ECCRT. So far, 1,039 persons have been GCP trained by COMBAT. The aim of LabNet is to establish, train, and maintain a high-quality European laboratory network to support drug development via various clinical trials. It is headquartered in Belgium at the Laboratory of Medical Microbiology of the University of Antwerp. The program was launched in January of 2013 and is led by Professor Dr. Hermann Gosens and Dr. Alexi Ruzin. Since its launch, LabNet has built and maintained a geographically representative laboratory network through numerous successful collaborations and research projects within and outside of COMBACT. The network currently encompasses more than 800 routine clinical microbiology laboratories and 14 research laboratories spread across Europe with nearly 1,300 lab contacts in 41 countries. In addition, LabNet has crossed its European borders and it now also involves participation of more than 300 laboratories spread across 33 countries outside Europe. LabNet not only consists of routine diagnostic laboratories and specialized research laboratories, but also a central coordinating laboratory located at the University of Antwerp, Belgium. Each pillar of LabNet has its own responsibilities and expertise. The routine diagnostic laboratories collect and manage samples and strains. They can participate in external quality assessment panel testing and in good clinical practice training. The central laboratory is responsible for providing study materials to the sites, biobanking, and analyzing study samples and strains. The main task of the specialized research laboratories is to perform exploratory work on study samples and strains. LabNet supports all activities by bringing all aspects of microbiological expertise to clinical studies. LabNet is committed to strengthen its laboratory network by focusing on capacity building and education. During the study, LabNet is providing its scientific expertise to study documentation such as sample collection, management manuals, and study protocols. LabNet is supporting site selection, is training the sites, and is building a repository. LabNet is also working on the sustainability of the network through communication and dissemination activities and country visits. The laboratory network has expertise in 27 studies that enrolled more than 23,000 patients in 46 countries. LabNet was involved both in observational and in interventional studies for different infection types, respiratory tract, surgical site, C. diff, UTI, antimicrobial multidrug resistance, arboviral, and pediatric infections. From these observational and interventional studies, LabNet has established a repository of specimens and strains consisting of more than 83,000 specimens and 9,000 strains. These samples and isolates can be linked to anonymized patient information. As you can see from these pie charts, the majority of specimens originate from res respiratory tract infection studies and LabNet has performed several types of analysis on the samples. Quantitative and qualitative culture, quantitative real-time PCR, and 16S and shotgun metagenomics. The largest collection of isolates is from surgical site infection studies and the analysis performed by LabNet on isolates are bacterial identification to species levels by MALDI-TOF, antimicrobial susceptibility testing, whole genome sequencing, ELISA, and serotyping.
StatNet is the fourth pillar within eCRAID with a specific goal to provide statistical expertise to the different observational and randomized studies within the network. StatNet has a core team in Geneva with strong connections to a satellite team at the Institute of Medical Biometry and Statistics at the University of Freiburg. Together we strive to implement efficient statistical approaches to accelerate antibacterial approval to help those in need as soon and best as possible. In the next few years, StatNet will be part of WP9 within eCRAID, where we will be responsible for the statistical work stream. Within Combat, the main objective of StatNet was to further ongoing and future clinical trials for antibacterial development, both commercial and investigator initiated. Within eCRAID, many of these tasks will be continued, whereby StatNet will provide support encompassing the design, sample size calculations, statistical analysis plan, and analysis of the clinical research studies. For observational studies, this involves selecting the best available design and the most optimal and novel analytical techniques, decreasing the risk of bias and confounding, and improving internal and external validity. For clinical trials, this also involves application of adaptive designs, relevant and efficient clinical outcome definitions, and state-of-the-art statistical methodology. At the same time, StatNet will be involved in the evaluation of the efficiency of the different adaptions for preventative trials based on simulations to be able to inform the setup of efficient future adaptive platform trials. Finally, StatNet will promote the use of modern statistical methods including multi-state frameworks where co-primary endpoints can be analyzed simultaneously or composite endpoints can be applied providing more meaningful information for experts as well as patients in the field. Adaptive platform trials are seen as the most promising strategy to make clinical trials more efficient. Therefore, StatNet is currently involved in Honest Preps, a precursor of the VAP Pulse study within eCRAID. Honest Preps aims to set up a well-functioning network of hospitals to prospectively collect observational data about the incidence and outcomes of ventilator-associated pneumonia. This has already resulted in a strong network of ICUs, which enables us to validate and harmonize clinical criteria for diagnosis of ventilator-associated pneumonia and provides the opportunity to validate novel endpoints and test the efficacy of different adaptive designs. At the same time, StatNet is involved at different stages of various trials and observational studies, including EVADE, Satellite, Microcare, and Eureka, where, for example, competing risk approaches are applied to reduce sample size or provide more in-depth understanding of time-dependent processes. The main objectives of EpiNet, the Epidemiology Network of Combat, are to optimize surveillance of AMR and HAI, develop a consensus program for homogenization of European surveillance strategies, inform public health action, support R&D for new effective interventions against antibiotic-resistant bacteria, develop educational and public service tools. The network, established in 2015, is coordinated by the University of Verona. It brings together international experts and stakeholders to work collaboratively towards these goals in innovative epidemiological research. In this video are highlighted some of EpiNet's key achievements, including ongoing activities towards the overarching goals, and these comprise of a central data repository, consensus documents, public service tools, and tools and activities to improve patient outcomes. At the heart of EpiNet lies a central data repository constructed to map all European surveillance activities and obtain data to track the geographical distribution and rates of AMR and HAI, spread of outbreaks, and emergence of resistance. Data are collected biannually and published on the project website, which is freely accessible to the public. 
The EpiNet CDR thus represents a major asset to various stakeholders interested in obtaining epidemiological insights and to inform future clinical trials and studies. Supported by the CDR data, further systematic data collection and close collaboration with major stakeholders, experts in the subject, EpiNet produced over 20 publications to date of scientific public health and educational value. More recently, four consensus papers were developed in partnership with the JPMR ARC network to provide guidance on how to collect analyze and report AMR and antimicrobial usage surveillance data to form stewardship, two, to connect four different settings, including the veterinary settings, underpinning and promoting one health approach, three, support the establishment of AMS in settings with limited, limited experience, and lastly, to highlight research priorities for future research needs and policies. The four white papers were published as open access articles in the Journal of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. For practical purpose, the lists of actions defined in the white papers were also published as easy to follow, downloadable checklists, while the research priorities are available in a strategic research agenda. Further, to support automation of HAI surveillance, EpiNet partnered with the JPI AMR Praise Network to publish a roadmap to guide the transformation of automated surveillance from research settings to large-scale implementation. Complementary to this roadmap, a practical guidance document on implementation of semi-automated surveillance in hospitals was also published. In 2020, the AMR Travel Tool was launched, an evidence-based educational tool that aims to limit the spread of antimicrobial resistance bacteria across borders. The target users are both healthcare professionals and the public at large. Data was obtained through a comprehensive multi-step literature review covering key areas and currently includes surveillance data for over 2 million isolates from 86 countries worldwide, epidemiological studies reporting preve prevalence data and carriage of antimicrobial resistant bacteria in returning international travelers, and lastly, recommendations from guidance documents published by main public health agencies on screening activities to be carried out in returning travelers. The INSURE study launched in collaboration with Penta ID in 2020 will test customized guidelines based on arc write papers in real life. The guidelines integrated into the Spectrum app target high-risk adult and pediatric settings. This pilot project will gather necessary data to guide implementation of large-scale, high-level AMR surveillance in multidisciplinary antibiotic policy approach. The EpiNet Excellence Centers project, launched in early 2021, will establish a network of centers of excellence for epidemiological research. This network will facilitate site selection for clinical trials and studies, foster high-level international collaboration, and drive tailored interventions to reduce the burden of resistance in healthcare through the EFFECT feedback service. Lastly, a new consensus project was launched in 2021 to develop a proposal for a One Health Surveillance Report on antimicrobial usage and resistance data to guide antibiotic policies in the human sector. The project will bring together a multidisciplinary panel of experts from human, animal, and environmental sectors to support ongoing international efforts to promote cross-sectoral cooperation and decrease antibiotic usage.